I'm here with the unified super featherweight champion, Terry Harper. Terry, how happy does it make you feel to be representing Doncaster and Yorkshire on a world stage every time you go out and fight? Um, it's, it's very special to me. Obviously, we've got some good good fighters from Don, Doncaster. We've got uh, Jamie McDonald, we've got Gavin, Dave Allen. Um, and the fact that I can be the first female putting us on the map, it, it's, it's good. And um, I know a few people always said to me after they see me on the TV, like they love it that they announce, like, um, the announcer, like when there's announcing it at Ring, um, like saying I'm fighting out of Denerby and stuff. So not just putting Doncaster on the map, but like the home, my hometown of Denerby as well, the village. So yeah, you special. are almost a trailblazer in that respect. You are the first female pro fighter to come out of South Yorkshire, as the one of the Steffi Ball videos on YouTube does say. Um, and yeah. how does it feel, as you said, to be a part of such a historic, uh, historic category? You know, you do have legends like Johnny Nelson, Prince Nassim, and in the female world, you have Nicola Adams. How does it feel to be, you know, part of um, Yorkshire boxing as a whole? Uh, amazing, um, obviously. It, it's, it's, for me, I always say I, I, I'm, very, I'm very grateful that I'm doing this and what I'm doing now. I always feel like I've got my second chance, but the fact... Um, I'm kind of writing my name in the history books um, and as well as these shows that Eddie, Sky and Matchroom are putting together, allowing me to be part of history. For me, that's, that's special and it's something that, it's, it's memories and something that I can look back on in years to come and show, show my grandkids. Exactly. You said you certainly are writing history as it goes along. Is that any added pressure? Does that like mount on you at all? Uh, as you think about it going into fights or just on a on a daily basis no i'm i'm just do you know what i'm just buzzing to be just to be doing this um i look, i gave it up when obviously when i was 16 came away from the spot and i always said that andrew gave him a second chance and i were i were happy and buzzing just fighting um on Andrew small hall shows at Doncaster Dome, fighting for a thousand pound purse. I, I was just happy to be back boxing. So the fact that I'm on the biggest stage in boxing and um, doing what I'm doing, sometimes I have to pinch myself and it's, it's just crazy. And uh, yeah, it's, it, I don't know, it's, and we're rolling with it and we're not getting carried away, but I'm, I'm, I'm just loving every minute. Yeah, so you spoke a bit about the local area. A, a, a bit of detail about the local area. Uh, one part in particular is Pitman Hill. I know you love yeah. um, showing your, your hill sprints up, up that place as it's near the gym and that. And, and you seem to have a, a certain kind of love-hate relationship, if you will. How physically and mentally does that prepare you uh, for your fights? Uh, do you know, when I'm, when I'm blasting 10 up that hill, I know I'm fit and I'm ready to fight. But... Um, it's literally what well, it's, it's like a 15 it's a 15 second sprint that's all it takes and um, the max i'll do is 10 so i can't i'm not doing my maths because i'm rubbish but it's like it's a couple of minutes of work but i'd have to, I'd, I'd lose sleep over that night before and uh just dreading it and knowing how much it's gonna um make me tired and stuff and like i go light-headed i feel like i'm uh pale skin and stuff like that so like I said, I lose sleep over that, over like two minutes of hard work and I'd, I'd happily do 10 rounds sparring and getting punched in the face instead. But um, but yeah, that's these are the sessions that we do need to make us realise that uh, we are fit. And um, surprise, uh, coincidence or not, I have got a sponsor at the bottom of that hill, um, JP Autos. Uh, no, I'm saying it wrong now. Uh, JP Walton and Sons, um, so the transport vehicles and stuff. Um, and yeah, so I don't know if they've seen me running up hill and it's inspired them to uh, sponsor me because they probably feel sorry for me, but I don't know. But yeah, it's, I, do, I do enjoy that hill. And as much as I dread it, I do enjoy it. So another vital, but more of a new component, obviously, I'm sure you've been sprinting up that hill for, for years, but somebody you haven't had a uh, connection with for years, but have only just now instilled into your uh, fight camp is Danny Wilson from Boxing Science C a lot of work over social media uh, that you do with him. How much effect, obviously, he, he was uh, in, in your fight camp for your fight against Standers, which you convincingly won by. How much effect uh, has these new exercises and this strength and conditioning programme had on you? 
we're, we're having a joke earlier in, in gym with Vanya saying um, we're blaming him for me breaking my hand and his memory <laughs> too strong. <laughs> uh, but no, massive. Um, like I always said to Danny, I feel like it's uh, not just a strength and conditioning coach for me. It's, it's like he understands a lot. Is like obviously Danny's quite young. He works with a lot of athletes, and um, I always go to him if I'm if I need to know something. And he's always got good advice to give me and stuff. Um, but like last camp, he was it was definitely a godsend, and it was um, the best decision we've made as a team to obviously get Danny on board um, and it, just, it definitely took me to the next level and it just it just kind of freshened everything back up for me I'm like I'm enjoying training like now I've, I've obviously did I brought my hand and um, Danny's made some adjustments so I can still train and I'm just I'm just buzzing to be back in the gym and we're looking at going away next week but I'm kind of like I don't want to go away because I just I want to be in gym training and getting better so back, back in that mood to train again not yeah. even a not even a week out was it and and you're already already buzzing to be back in there yeah i think i well, it two two week two week i've had and that's only because uh obviously the operation and stuff i weren't able to do anything but i got out and about walking um well, after my operation i'm sat in house and i'm thinking this is what lockdown's been for everyone like if i live <laughs> what lockdown was because obviously i was busy during lockdown still getting to train on that but um Obviously, after operation, I, I did have to just chill out for a few days, and it was just driving me insane. So I had to get out and go on a few walks. But yeah, like I said, I started back in gym on Monday, and it's just it's just nice to get be back into a, like a similar routine. Yeah. So you mentioned the hand, of course. Uh, you broke that in your last fight against Sanders, but you know you did you did stop her, fortunately for you, which is something that you haven't had uh, for over a year. How good was that feeling to? get your opponent out there inside the distance oh very good feeling um I think for me as a, obviously when I turned over as a matchroom fighter I was being too cautious just making sure I get the win um and then obviously coming off the fight with Tash um the, the draw with Tash and then like there were thought there were doubts in my mind like thinking of um obviously like questioning if I if I deserve to be uh, at this level and uh, when I went out there and put on that that performance I just kind of had a little chuckle to myself and I just thought Terry like I do deserve to be here and um, like Sanders is no mug like she's a good fighter and yeah. I can remember it during the fight camp well down in fight bubble um, we, we were watching one of the fights and I thought oh I'm in for a, I'm in for another tough night here. Um, but then, obviously, on the night, I just stuck to the game plan that was set, and it just, it, we just, we just didn't allow uh, Thunders to get into any rhythm. Um, and then I also remember, like, one point in the during the fight, I was thinking she's not hit me much during this, and I'm like, oh, don't, don't go wondering too much in my mind because I had to stay concentrated. But uh, yeah, I, I, I just enjoyed, I just enjoyed the whole experience. Yeah, you mentioned the um, the terror, obviously, uh, on the matchroom fight camp card against Natasha Jonas. Now, a lot of people, obviously, it was a tight affair given as a draw. A lot of people have been wanting the rematch because of that, because it was such a, a close decision. But you're looking elsewhere, you're looking at unification, and, and rightly so, you're looking at adding another belt to your WBC and IBO title. So this is really a red-hot time for women's boxing. You've got uh, you know, world class opponents only five about five pounds away from each other. At, you know, where everyone's almost undisputed right now. So, where 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 are you looking for your next fight? I saw you post something on your Instagram, a bit of a passionate, a bit of a passionate um, calling out of of Maya, uh, as as she's the world title holder now. Is is that who you're 100 percent set on for your next fight? Uh, Listen, I, I I wait for obviously Andrew and Eddie to tell me who to fight. Um, I'm not ducking anyone. Um, if the rematch comes with Tasha, it comes. Uh, we but we obviously I had new contract. The rematch with Tasha's in that, so we've agreed to that. So I'm not I'm not dodging Tasha or anything like that. Mayor, obviously I want to fight Mayor. I want a belt. I want to become uh, undisputed. Um, so I've got to fight these other champions for us. I think. I want to fight, uh, hopefully fight Choi next. As you can see, Eddie made the signing with Choi, so that'll be an easier 
easier fight to make. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want definitely want these other champions. Uh, Tasha, like you said, she she a uh, voluntary defence. I don't want to get stuck on that when when the rematch does happen. It happens, but for now, I want to go out and and do what we what we originally planned, and that's to become um, undisputed and fight these other champions. Yeah, uh, you know, it is a quality time for women's boxing right now, and especially in the division you're in and a couple of divisions higher and lower of you, there's just quality everywhere. So how does it feel to be, you know, almost one of the front runners in what maybe look back in a, in a few decades as a golden age for women's boxing? Uh, see, I, I, still have to, I still don't see myself as one of these front runners. It's crazy. I have people telling me and I'm like, sometimes I do need to like probably kind of wake up and realise that I've got a lot of people that are out there wanting to uh, be in my position. But uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, for me, that's just what keeps me hungry and um, keeps me dedicated to the gym. And uh, like I said, uh, in, a, in a couple of years when I'm retired and fat, it's something I can look back on and say I was part of that. And um, yeah, like you said, women's boxing is just growing by the minute and it's, it's, it's a very special time to be part of it. So uh, you were box on the, the women's triple header, the first ever women's triple header in your last fight. And... Uh, the woman that headlined it, none other than Katie Taylor. When you were younger, you know, you idolised uh, what she was doing for the sport. What does it feel like to be in her position now where there are other more younger girls idolising you? So I've always said Kate is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing today is boxing. That's the reason why Andrew uh, dropped me the message asking if I'd want to give boxing another try and turn over. Um, so like it in years to come if if I can be the reason why a girl went out to chase her dreams then and change her life then that's mission accomplished really and um yeah it's it's, it's crazy to think really talking about it yeah inspirational as ever Terry Harper yeah. unified super featherweight champion thank you for your time thank you